Hi everybody, these are some plants I'm going to be using in our aquaponics system. To the left there you see some dwarf jade corn. Toward the front here you see four different varieties of tomatoes, large and small cherry, and two larger variety tomatoes. And then mixed in throughout there are some various hot peppers, eggplant, green peppers, and other assorted vegetables in there. Up in the front there you see some basil. Uh, some oregano will be growing soon. And then down here I wanted to get to my overflow system. Right now it is a PVC overflow, one of those do-it-yourself jobs that you can get. And uh, as you can see that goes deep down into the water. Up here, you see here, that's the initial intake. That also sets the water height for the main tank. Down below here, we have the sump tank with the pump in it. Eventually this is going to pump water from the sump tank up into the grow bed. The grow bed will then drain into this main fish tank which has some tilapia in it and it's a 55 gallon tank. And then over here these are my grow stones from Sunleaves Rocks. Those are expanded shale. So if we follow this siphon the water goes in through this intake down all the way through the bottom of the aquarium back up through here and then follows all the way down the side here over here this is an air outlet tube coming up to the top with a small hole drilled in it and then down here you see some flexible pipe and the ends of this happen to match the one inch tubing that we have so I can just put a simple separator in between the flex hose and the actual tubing. And then this comes all the way around up to here where I put in a couple elbows to hang it on the side of this sump tank. Incidentally the sump tank is a 33 gallon long. It's a little bit less than 13 inches high compared to the 21 inches of the 55 gallon tank so gives you a decent differential for the siphon. I initially had a 29 gallon tank in place but there were only two inches difference and that was not sufficient to provide for good siphon. So here I'm going to plug in the pump and we'll see what this siphon does. Okay, so here we go. We have the siphon, the pump filling up here and now you can see the water going down that siphon. Now this pump at this height is pumping about 300 gallons per minute which is easily going to overwhelm this do-it-yourself siphon. This do-it-yourself siphon is maybe good for uh, about 50 gallons, I'm sorry, gallons per hour, not gallons per minute. So what we'll do is we'll let that run a little bit, let it fill up the tank, and then I'm going to come over here and go ahead and unplug, sorry, I'm using all my hands. And after we unplug, we see the level starts going back down. You see it going down the intake, and now it's coming out the other end into the overflow sump tank. What this allows is additional water volume in the system because the grow bed, uh, it's going to hold 67 gallons total empty, but it will hold a total of 22 gallons of water when it's full of the rock growing media. So we need to accommodate the drainage of 22 gallons into this 55 gallon tank so that it can flow over into the sump tank. So in addition to this overflow, I'm also going to be adding an over overflow siphon box, something they call a weir siphon, and uh, that should help accommodate some of the additional flow. Uh, now that I have this siphon tested, I'll be cementing each of these joints together so that we don't get any water or air leaks, but for now everything seems to be working okay. Thanks for watching everybody.